This video is just a demo of some UI Manage Document and iCloud integration. Um, UI Manage Document is used to create our Cordata stack. Um, one of the challenges with iCloud is how do you deal with the situation where the user turns iCloud on or off. Um, so we've built some smarts into the into a subclass the UI Manage Document and into a cloud manager that deals with these situations and then moves the UI managed document into and out of the cloud. Now we don't actually move the UI managed document into and out of the cloud. You will see in the demo that all the documents are created in the local devices documents directory, but if the user selected to use iCloud then we enable iCloud syncing and if they've chose not to use iCloud then we disable iCloud syncing. Now when the user changes the settings we actually have to rebuild a new copy of the store so we create a new UI managed document to do that. It's, it's probably worth pointing out that any um, documents that appear in the, in the bottom two uh, finder windows, uh, the ones in the iCloud containers, those are created and removed by core data. So we don't, our code doesn't go anywhere near either of those two um, directories. That's, that's all handled with core data. All we're doing is um, calling migrate to persistent store or if we want to remove the store, calling remove persistent store using standard NS persistent store coordinator API. You'll notice that when we create a local only document, we just use the user entered file name to create the document. When we when the user is selected to use iCloud, we append a UUID to the actual document name. Now we do this to prevent the possibility of duplicate files in iCloud, just in case the user creates another document using the same name on a different device. Um, so this stops us having those kinds of clashes. Okay, we're going to launch the application. Now the first time we launch the application um, the iCloud settings are off so uh, iCloud's enabled, we've logged into iCloud but the actual application's um, iCloud choice is off. So we'll create a document and we'll just create a local document and you can see the document appears in the documents folder and we'll just open it up and we'll go in and put in some random text just to prove that the actual data gets copied across. Okay, we've done that and uh, we've now got the local document on the device and nothing appears in iCloud yet. So now we're going to go back to our simulator and we'll go and we'll change the application setting to use iCloud. Bear in mind, we're logged into iCloud already, but we haven't enabled it for the app. So the minute we launch the app, the app automatically detects that the settings have changed and pulls an iCloud version of the file and removes the local copy. And you can see the minute we built that, how the file gets replicated into the cloud and we just go in and see that the data we typed in the, in the first instance is still there. Okay, now we'll go back and we'll reverse those settings. So we'll say, well, we don't want to use iCloud anymore and we'll switch back out and we'll go back to the app and now we get prompted. Do you want to keep the, the files on the phone? Do you want to delete them? Or do you want to just keep using iCloud? So we'll choose to keep local copies and you can see on the left we've built the local file and we've now removed the iCloud files and that removal has been replicated into the cloud. So if you had any files on any other device they will disappear. And there we've just seen we've got all the data still there. Okay we'll just <clears throat> do another demo just to show um, when we've got multiple documents um, to show what happens. So once again we've got the app up, we've got a couple of local documents, we're just going to go into the settings and turn on using iCloud and switch back to the application. 
and the moment we do that the application detects that the settings have changed and sets about building the iCloud uh, copies and again because this uh, activity is asynchronous um, we've got the period where we've got duplicate files that show to the user uh, anyway you can see that it was relatively quickly and we've now got the two iCloud enabled stores with basically the same data in it so you can see this is an application that's got quite a lot of it's actually used for designing and building um, the applications so there's a pretty substantial amount of data and as you can see it was only a few seconds for the stores to be rebuilt okay so we'll go out now and um, we'll just reverse that whole process so you can see the iCloud documents in the devices ubiquity container and in the on the Macs um, ubiquity container. All right, so we've just turned iCloud off, and we'll launch the app. Okay, and it's now asking us if we want to keep on the iPhone, so we'll select the keep on iPhone option, and on the left you can see the local files being created. And because some of the files change, unfortunately the find those scrolls to a different location. So by the time we scroll back the documents have been removed from iCloud, both iCloud containers and all we have left are the local files. So I'll we'll just go back into one of them to show that all the data is still there. And there you go, that's um, UI managed document and iCloud integration. Uh, so if you look up on our website, you'll find a document, that, a PDF document that includes an overview of how we do this with code extracts from, from the key classes. If you've got any questions, just uh, send us an email and, uh, or post a message on Stack Overflow. Happy coding!